When these twins slowly developed different skin tones, people started expressing curiosity and their parents had to deal with nosy questions and early education. And several years later, Millie and Marcia had an unbelievable opportunity that allowed them to elaborate on a hot topic. When expecting twins, pregnancy is always a little stressful as the mother's body is working harder to grow the two special lives that are developing within her womb. For this very reason, Amanda Wankin took good care of herself while being pregnant and could hardly wait to welcome her babies into the world. However, it takes nine months for life to grow and there are many practical things to prepare before bringing home twins. Amanda was a fair-skinned Brit who fell in love with a dark-skinned man. The father of the babies was Michael Biggs, a tall, handsome guy of Jamaican descent. The couple might have speculated a little about how the babies would look, but a fair guess would be that the twins would have a complexion somewhere in between that of Amanda and Michael. It was with great anticipation that the due date finally arrived. Everybody was waiting to meet the twins. When the two girls were born, on July 3, 2016, they initially seemed like just another set of fraternal twins delivered at the Good Hope Hospital in Sutton, Caldfield, England. The delivery went well and both mother and babies were in good health. Meeting the girls for the first time was a special moment. Their skin tone seemed to be something in between that of the mother and father, as the parents expected. Although they were not identical, they looked very similar at birth. The two girls had many features that made them look a little like identical twins. But both parents knew that the newborns change a lot during the first months of their lives, so they were prepared to watch them grow and become even more different. What stood out from the beginning was that one girl had piercing blue eyes, while the other one had dark brown eyes that looked almost black. However, that was not the focus of the parents. The girls were of a good birth weight, beautiful and healthy. That was all this family longed for, and they could not be happier. Sometimes we think that life has settled into a comfortable rhythm, and all of a sudden it throws you a curveball. About 10 months into their precious lives, something strange started happening with the twins. The change taking place was first visible in Millie. She started developing darker skin, and with her deep brown eyes and black hair, she was looking more and more like her father. A gradual darkening of her skin was taking place in front of her parents' eyes. It was clear that she took more after her father and started displaying his Jamaican origins. After a while, her sister Marcia's skin started becoming lighter and her darker hair started falling out. Her newborn locks were then replaced by a luscious head of blonde hair. These features resembled her Anglo-Saxon mother's heritage, typically having very fair skin, blonde hair and blue eyes. How is it possible that twins can differ in skin tone? Scientists explain that this one in a million occurrence is the result of a genetic mix of generations. The scientific term for this is atavism and consists in an ancestral genetic trait reappearing in a descendant. These genes can remain dormant for generations and carry through the sperm of the father. With the birth of Millie and Marcia, the dormant gene resurfaced. When a biracial couple has children, there are many factors that will determine the color of their children's skin. Pigmentation is a complex genetic factor, and in fraternal twins, the chances of having different skin colors become possible simply because the two eggs were fertilized by two different sperms, resulting in the girls only sharing 50% of the same DNA from the embryos. Just like common siblings, it is also common for biracial couples to have fraternal twins where one looks like the father and the other one better resembles the mother. Skin color is what is called a quantitative trait, meaning it can vary on a large spectrum. If we have to define the full spectrum of skin color, it ranges from almost pitch black to a very pale cream and anything in between that is possible. A binary trait instead can only be one or the other, like the sex of a child. How should a parent deal with this situation in a society that still has a tremendous focus on race and often carries a bias towards certain racial groups? Amanda quickly learned that when she was in public, people would notice her twins immediately and were curious to understand why these two beautiful girls looked the same age, yet so different. When she confirmed that the girls were twins, there were many follow-up questions. Some found it very difficult to believe in her explanation. These biracial twins were not something people were used to seeing. 
Luckily, most of the questions and comments were not hostile or of a racist nature. They were simply out of curiosity and amazement. Despite the positive experience, the parents had to teach their children about the concept of racism from an early age. The girls had to understand that it was important to judge people by their character and their deeds instead of by the color of their skin and not to make any assumptions about the nature of a person based on his or her race. This education had to be done before the girls went to school and had to face society with its norms and standards. The twins have always had a special relationship. It is quite common for twins to have a special connection on a spiritual level, going so far as sensing each other's emotional state, even when they're apart. Because the big twins look so different, people often presume that they're just best friends. That presents no problem for them, as this is actually the truth. The girls choose to spend most of their time together. They both love to sing and dance, and they often put on a joint act to showcase their talents. At first glance, these two sisters do not look like twins or even siblings, but if you look closely, you will find a clear resemblance. Because of their different personalities, they also do not like to dress exactly the same. They have different tastes and clothing styles and different preferences for favorite colors. Millie is the girly one that likes to wear pink, loves everything bling and enjoys being dressed up and playing the role of a little princess. She also loves to play with her dolls. When she was young, she was very shy, but as she grew older, she started taking control and became a lot more bossy and easygoing. Marcy, on the other hand, is more of a tomboy and despises the color pink. She is much more fond of blue and gymnastics, and she is comfortable being the person she is. She does not want to be put in a little box of labels, and her family loves her for who she is. For these twins, their school-going years were not that challenging. They knew that teachers and classmates would never have a problem knowing which twin they were speaking with. Growing up in a small house with parents with different skin colors, they did not experience racism at home and grew up appreciating their differences rather than fearing them. Their friends at school accepted them for who they were, and as sisters, they simply loved each other unconditionally. Despite some people whispering nasty comments in his ears, Michael Biggs always accepted the fact that the girls looked the way they did and had different skin tones. He never questioned his wife's loyalty to him or made any fuss about them. To him, it was clear that they were both his girls and they both have his nose features. He is simply another proud dad that loves his girls equally. Like his daughters, he prefers not to see life in black and white. It has already been 16 years since the birth of these unique twins. And some people cannot help but wonder how they're doing these days. You would not believe what happened to them in later years. In 2016, the girls featured on the cover of National Geographic magazine. It was of course a great opportunity for them, but not just to launch their career in the fashion industry. The family took advantage of that picture to give their opinion on a hot topic. The issue the twins appeared in was focused on race, and the main article asked if we really understand what race truly is, and whether we should rethink the concept in its entirety. According to them, race is simply a social construct, and people can live as siblings and friends despite their different skin tones. After all, that's what they've been doing since the day of their conception. What do you think of these special twins? What would you say to them if you met them in the streets? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.